Hi, today we will see how to provide validation in LiveRay. So we use validator class for validation. So first, let me create a project. Click on File, New, and LiveRay plugin project. Provide the project name. Click Next. Click Finish. So now create a portlet in the project. So right click new and let the portlet. So provide the portlet class. Change the package. Click next. Let me check this create resource bundle file so that we can use language dot property. Now click next. Provide the display category. And click finish. So in the view.jsp, I just create a simple form with four fields so this is my form which contains four fields first name last name phone and email and on the submit of this form is submitted and this is called so let me create a method to handle the call so this register method is called on the submission of this so let me fetch the value by using Parameter similarly fetch all the values. So in like three portlet dot XML change the portlet namespace parameter to false. This required namespace parameter because we are using a single portlet only on a page. So let me create a bin for these fields. Click new class give name of registration b So let me create a getter setter for this. Right click and source generate getter and setter. Select all. Okay. So let me create a constructor. Now create an object for this thing. So for handling validation, I just create a method 
वेरी गुड विच रिटर्न आप बोलें जल्दी So this validate method take two parameters. First is the object of beam. Let me change the name to user. And second argument is action request object. So we are using a class validator which contain almost all the method required for validation like is address, is blank, is date, is domain. So we need like is name. So this is is name. So this method check all the validation for name field. So let me pass user dot get first name. So if validator is name not equals to name means this user dot get first name is not a name then we change the flag to false. And we also need another class session error dot add. So we add a error message. In request object and the second parameter is key which is used on our GSP. So it's generally for all. So these are his name is email it is this phone number. So if this return true then everything is fine else there is some error so so if there is no error we write a simple sop statement If there is error, then it will go back to view.jsp where we handle the messages. So, for handling the messages, we are using library UI tag lib. So, first import the library UI tag lib. So, now library UI. Error. Uh, this one. This take two. This has two parameters. First is a key, and second is a message. So key is same as the key which we set in our validate method. So just copy the key and message can be any string which you want to display like please enter first time so similarly for all here so let me declare this So 
it's deployed now add the portlet to page now click on submit button so look all the messages are successful oh, oh. there is no message for email id so let me check so the key is email error message missing okay it's email error message invalid so change this to missing now it's fine but one more thing there is a error message provided by like your request failed to complete so we need to disable this so for this just add two line in the else part and change the imports that's it so this key hide error message hide the default error message so run again so now it's fine no error message provided by like Yeah, it's working properly. Like I enter in phone, so it's not valid. So look, it's a event of okay. change these keys to some other key. So now, in the first step, we create a language dot property file. So now, open language dot property. And provide key values. So now in the view.jsp, you can change the message to the key provided in language.property. Similarly, for all. So now this key is matched with the library UI key tag. This one. And this message is exactly same as the key of language dot property. This one. So we'll deploy it. So look, these all are come from language or properties. Yes, it's working fine. But I think there is one more issue. When you fill the values, it reset to blank. So like if there is like lots of values, then it's a problem. Look, it resets. So let me handle this situation. So in the else part, I just send the user object to JSP. So it attribute. And for handling on user JSP, we need gestural tag. So first to open library present package of properties and add gstl job so add search for gstl let's both okay. save and then import first tag of gstl So 
now in the value part as the value and similar value for all so now deploy Validation is okay. Now add some value. So yes, it's now perfect. And on submission of all the value properly, it will redirect and show a console message. So in the next tutorial, we use the same validation but without using library UID. Thanks for watching.